Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and I've got one of my all-time favourite decks, a little modification on it, now that we have Way of the Witcher expansion. Thrown an Erland of Larvik, Legendary Witcher in here, boost all units in your deck by one. Pretty good with Commandos, because you can shuffle Commandos back into your deck later in the game and boost them with Erland to make them a bit more survivable. Has some great synergy with Scythemen, so I've got a couple of them in here, because you can get all those boosts. You can also boost with Voimir, which is good for Scythemen. Uh, and he's just also very good as a round one potential tempo abuse play. You can use him and click him in order to win on even more easily. Alternatively, you can just play him for carryover in round one and boost up your Selkirk and your Roach and your Pavetta, etc. And make them all working with Scythemen later on and just getting you a bit of extra value. So he's a nice little inclusion in here. This particular version, I don't have Heatwave, I don't have Baron, so you're going to struggle against decks that go tall and are very greedy in that sense. But you have Boiling Oils and Selkirk to deal with other engines and such. So deck has just worked very well, hasn't really been losing. Uh, yeah, just a strong... I think this is probably the strongest way to play Northern Realms in all honesty, because you just have the burst, which can be used to shut down some of the greed and also keep up with some of the point slam from Ceres and whatnot, uh, whereas you might struggle with Shield Wall or an engine-heavy deck to actually deal with the tempo that they put out. So, yeah, I think this is a good bet for Northern Realms if you're going to play that faction, and just Commandos, always good fun, always winning with it. Enjoy the games. You've got the heart of an uncrate. I'd like to see an actual Cohen deck. I'm sure we all would. But unfortunately, life is not that simple. Okay, not the best hand ever. We'll make it work. Hopefully. Why is a thumbnail called that? I don't know, actually. I guess because if you look at your thumb, the thumbnail is like a small part of of your thumb, it? and it like, I don't know, it's like, it shows you what the thumb looks, I don't know, I, <laughs> I have no idea, I have absolutely no bloody idea, mate. Attention! Present arms! <laughs> Has anyone even tried Cohen? The problem is Northern Realms feels not very strong. So what's the point of playing Cohen? I promise you a quick You have to play the bad faction. Why would we play the bad faction? Oh we actually got rid of the veil, Poggy. Poggy. Uh, fuck me. What a waste. What a waste of your bleed, mate. SMH. That was actually spot on. Okay. I don't, I'm not even sure that's exactly what I meant when I said that, but I'll take it. Your neighbours are going to unironically complain. Because I sneezed. Neighbours are pretty uptight, mate, my dude. Sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm gonna have to pull this out. Death to the the old-fashioned way, aren't I? Because then there's no way this is a living. Nice mess it's just no way. Got to do it the old fashioned way sometimes, guys. It's a, some quite late commandos. It's not inherently bad. Base boosted sneeze. Ay, ay, ay. This is when reinforcements comes in handy. But yeah, we're not getting a huge amount of commandos here. I think we're getting a decent number, I suppose. Decent number. It's gonna be a hen, Kaduk, yep. Alright. 
I really want to play my blue straight. All that dancing around. It's not for me. Uh, I think we have enough, just about. I gotta be careful with Natalis, because he doesn't have any targets. You know? Why give the first commander zeal in case it dies, right? If it dies, then it's a big problem. Because we can't put more in the deck. And he did have a decoction, so it would have died. What do you know? And then with the Royal Guard, why boost it with the Royal Guard? Instead of the second one? I don't know. I guess that would have been a better play. Uh... So this is pretty interesting. I guess we keep this hand. Brick Natalis is not super great, but... Wait, is actually passing? For real? What? I mean, I guess it is Patricidal Fury. Could have played Erland there, actually. Maybe that was better. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Easy Mulligan. Easy keep. Or easy mulligan for Voimir. Probably mulligan blue stripe here. Oh my goodness, we have Scythemen. We can get Voimir with them for this assault anyway, I suppose. It's gonna be an interesting round. One problem is we don't really have a way to set up the roach right now. Uh, I suppose that's okay. Uh, land is going to carry. Kind of want to save the Erland for late, but I guess we can't do that. You think he's got Arna Chad? Oh god. Oh god. I think that'll be okay, because he's not Battle Trance. Okay, maybe it won't be okay. I don't know. <laughs> It sounds a bit weird for me. I will say that much. When? Oh god, he does have Anagad. Basically means he has to have it, right? Keep the me coming and I'll tell you a tale or two. Oh no, why is he playing this so early? What's going on with that? So am I going to save this? God, this is so awkward. I think I can't really, I just have to play it now. If it dies, it dies. It's fine, right? We'll uphold the knightly values that define us. That is our quest. If it doesn't die, it doesn't die. So win-win, right? I think that's how that works. Hmm, what am I meant to do here? Oh my god, it's going to be so scary. I can't duel him, because my duel will die. Double the coin and consider okay, that's it. That's not a very good play. Dark clouds gather over Tameria. Oh, why'd I put Erlan on back row? I thought he was a human for some reason. I fucked everything up, guys. Fucked everything up. 
So what's better here? Ballista? Ballista, right? Could play the siege support, it's kind of a similar deal, but I think this is better. No land's popping, I just should have put it on front row, I messed up. No Voimir, I don't think I can play Voimir, unfortunately. Damn it. It's a bit sad, but it is what it is. Temeri. That's what matters. Da, 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 da. Death to the enemy! Get a lot of uh, Scytheman value Step if by. my guys actually live, which I'm not sure they will. You know, if their boosts prevail. We're pretty far ahead in points. Uh, he can lock my Draug if he is smart. Come on. Come on, boys, keep your boosts. There we go. We're keeping the boosts. These Scythemen are kind of trolling, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. Six point play. <laughs> I mean, it can be good if they're not playing Hemdall, right? If they're not playing Hemdall, then this can be worth like 10 points or something for 4, which is pretty reasonable. Need a hand? Just chop one off. Alright, I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot here. Just play a Draug. I kind of am liking Draug in front though, because we can get more lifts. I suppose on back it is just kind of better. To your banners. That's Colomone's favorite voice line, by the way. Fun fact, apparently. That's uh. Oh yeah, he has Arnagad, right? Wait, where is the Arnegad? We didn't draw it? I don't know what's going on here. He's playing it now, I guess. And it neutralizes my last two cards. Should have played a Selkirk earlier, actually, though. Kind of just forgot that he can have that. He actually has Wild Boar? Huh. People playing Wild Boar in the current year, that's so weird. Don't really have any ways to, uh... Get my value, unfortunately. This harvest will the sidemen are pretty sad. Wild boar in current year. Weird. Weird. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I tell you, I don't like it at all. I should have copied this last turn as well, I kinda of missed, missed a trick there. Tomorrow we suffer home! These dogs have no honor. Might still have it. We still got it in us. To pick up a nice little win. Or do I play into Bear Witcher Mentor and I lose? I don't know man. Oh, I played into the Bear Witcher Mentor and I won! I won the match! Strength nice! There we go! Hey! Hey! Get fucked, Skelliger! Nice. Onward! Attack! Oh, what a spicy hand we have here. What a spicy little hand. Oh la la! Oh my goodness, that's a pretty good hand. Forward! We won? Did we already win? Are we? Am I winning? This is wonderful. It's not V with this leader though. I'd probably get wrecked by V, guys, I'll be real with you. 
That's okay, right? When I do the tenderizing. Not sure I'm playing Roach the round one, but we can we can consider it. Particularly if they play lava. So allow us to kill kill some lava. So yeah, probably do it. Salutations. Deny the dominance. How are we looking, Chief? How are we looking? Part of me wants to save the Roach, but... I think it's fine. We can play Natalis. Oh, this is going to be juicy. It's going to be goosey. Goosey? I don't, I don't know, mate. Probably plays Koshchi, yeah, I would imagine so. Ooh, big lava. Big amounts of lava have been spotted in our area. Proceed with caution. Click the roach, click the guy, pull the guy. Oh my god, 30 points. Ha ha ha. Easy game. Three blue stripes, he's gonna play into them, giving lots of carryover. It's gonna be the big, this is the big commando pull. This is the really Big commando pool that you want to want to see, and Erland as well is kind of putting in some nice, nice value for round three, buffing all that guys. It's not too bad. I'm a bit scared of his long round potential, so we'll probably just smash commandos drow ground two. You know, try to kill engines with that. Create a big tempo disadvantage for him. Alright. Elves must die! It might technically be correct for him to pass here if he wants the best chances of winning. I'm not sure. Depends if he thinks he can win round one, but. Maybe you can. If you can't win round one, then it's good to get out of here and stop my commando carryover. Or force me to go long round. Karanthir, round one. Kiki more queen. This guy doesn't mess around. He really doesn't pull any punches. Part of me wants to actually murder that, but I'm going to be a bit patient. Maybe too patient. How do you even beat red stripes? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I don't see many people playing red stripes these days. Mostly the blue boys. Natalis from a Nero, that's pretty busted. Maybe I should have killed this. Gone a Nero into this, kill that. Probably that's worthwhile. But... Ain't nobody got time for that. It's only a Kiki more Queen. It's what's there to worry about? I could play Voimir this round. Kind of slaps. Played both Kiki Queens, so do we just pass? Defender is the one thing that can be troubling. I could actually kill this Kiki with Selkirk. Then I don't have an answer for Koshchi, but you might have Defender anyway. And this guy's doing weird shit, so I think I just try to win the round. No I'm a bit honor. spooked. I'm not sure I want to commit Draug though, so if he does have enough points here, then... Whatever. I think I'm just assuming that we're, we're chilling if we play uh, Assault. Onto Voimir, for example. So how true though that is. Guess we'll find out. Should be taking the round, right? 
I might have to play Erland as well. Doesn't really do much though, but Erland. I think committing Draugrand 1 is a bit too much. Okay, Matter's good to see, that's really nice. With me, you'll forget I don't believe he can take it in a card now. Could be wrong. Just play an Erland and take the value on it. Problem is, I want it for my Sidemen value later. Uh, I think option to pass is an okay one here. It's either pass or we play like Erland into Ballista. Pass seems alright. What is there? Egon? It's kind of it. Something like that, big dude. Hmm. I think I have to get out. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably getting kosh cheat, but maybe we can actually deal with it. Make sure it does have the ego. I was thinking about playing Ballista, but... I don't know, man. I don't know about that. So we can make happen. Definitely looks a bit spooky. A bit spooky. Kosh cheat. We're just kind of hoping he doesn't have a renew, right? That's the main scary card. Renew could be quite nasty for us. So we can draw basically nothing at this point. We want our Scythemen, right? That would be good. Maybe Boiling Oil, but I'm not even sure it'll get value. I'm a bit scared of Defender as well. It's all a bit spooky. Okay, I mean, we can keep, I suppose. It's probably fine. Oil is a bit questionable. Probably prefer to have damage to set up Revenants. Uh, land for carryover is bad. I, I prefer to use it after I've played Pavetta, right? Because then I get it on all the commandos. And that's what I'm synergizing Scythemen with. Does that make sense? Yeah, maybe we should have taken another Mulligan. That was probably not ideal. Oh well. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I have a lot of commandos, so that's... That's one thing going for us. He has a cave troll! Uh-oh! That's one thing not going for us. Should we play this boost Erland, maybe? Depends if we think he's dying. Is it going to be Idara? Oh man, oh boy, we might be getting clapped, guys. She's rather hungry. You see? Maybe getting clapped right now. A witcher with no honor is no brother of mine. Now we don't need to boost this as well. It's kind of what I was afraid of. Probably should have just fought harder for round one. Should have played the ballista, for example. At least there's no renew. That's something. That is something. Okay. Death to the enemy. Nice mess you've got here. Yeah, I should have tried to get the last sideman because that would have been a lot of points. Might make the difference here. Very well, could be the difference maker. Have a now. Ask questions later. The drought next. I mean, at least you put this on this row. It's giving us so much food for revenants. Not that it's the most important thing. But... So a lot of revenants. 
To be fair, like we're not even copying them really, are we? Could have gone for a front row drag actually. That might have technically been more points. Must have Yerden as well. Eh. Why do you think that? I'm not sure there's any reason why he'd have Yerden. He has Renew. Oh shit. So he's just playing my deck, I guess? Matter. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Give me a side move. You will never forget. It's looking a bit rip, guys. I'll say that much. Oh well, Kiki more wins. I guess you gotta win round one, right? Didn't have enough respect for uh, for the renew and the cave troll, which of course you're gonna play. I mean, it's it's obvious, right? We're not doing too badly, but I think the leader is what is sealing the deal, really. It's just a bit too many points. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Big Scytheman, yeah. If I had another Scytheman, it's another 7 points. 8 points. I don't have the deck, no I don't. I'm afraid not. Yeah, he didn't really get much hit around value, right? Kinda got a bit bricked. I don't know, maybe we have it. Drive is a lot though. Drive is a lot. Maybe we're okay here, guys. Pretty far ahead in points. I could have had an extra point from Scytheman as well, that was my mistake. Right? Oh well. Can you make 40 points, my dude? I don't know, I think we actually got him. <laughs> but I think that's kind of his fuck up that won us the game. Right? I feel like he should have been able to. Uh, maybe not. I suppose he only gets one guy behind Defender. If he puts the other not behind, we can probably kill it with our Drought guys. So maybe we're just winning there. Huh. Wars, cracks, Do be like that. Winning. Oh man, I haven't really played a Commander Assist. Mirror for a long time. Commanders is not a very popular deck, so I really have not played this one for ages. Should be pretty spicy. Just gotta try to min max value, um, I guess. Hands very gold. We could play a Roach round one, potentially. It's probably good that we're on, uh, on red coin. Can kind of do whatever. It might be good for us to... No audiences. I think I've got to kill that. Today. Like, I think whoever wins round one can push round two and have quite a nice advantage. Well, maybe it doesn't matter so much. I just seem to remember Draug decks when they can kill each other's units. Like, whoever's killing the stuff first is usually winning with Draug, but I'm not sure that's how this matchup goes, because I think it's a bit too easy to get bodies for Draug. So I think the advantage we can maybe find is... Could have settled this amicably, you know? Um, this is annoying. So now he can deny my roach. Smile, you blathered gip! So we have a nice line of play, I think, which involves not commandoing round one. He's gonna commando round one, he'll probably play Roach. And we can actually just not engage with that. That's what Matt nice mess you've got we can just here. not engage with that at all. We can let him do that, we'll play a dead side move. Just go round two and we let him do a little cheeky push push. 
And then we transform our blue stripes on front row with Draug if he pushes very hard. We try to hold on to Pavetta and all the, all the good stuff, right? Because now he's kind of split, right? He's used one blue stripe, but that's not very much. And now we just take a pass. Now he can carry them all over. That might be his best play, right? Is to carry all the guys over and then just pass and go round three. I think that's probably how he counters our lane of play here. I think that would be good for him and he'd probably win. But I think we've managed to get away there with a little cheeky line of play that shouldn't really be viable. So I'm happy with it. Um, pretty happy with it. So we actually have everything we need here, basically. Erland would be kind of nice. Oh, there he is. I'm not sure I can get my roach to function properly, but... Let's see. A really interesting spot now. First say in round three. Yeah, I'm not sure if it matters though. Play a Dragon's Dream movement deck. I think I'll pass on that one. I think I'll pass on, on this particular occasion. Done, Burner. What the hell? What are you doing, mate? Yeah, maybe I should have kept the Ballista, guys. I should have probably mulliganed Scytheman. Because now my Roach is really... We could just play a Commander with AA, I guess, and have a few less uh, guys. Semper Fi! I'm gonna let him self cook if he wants. Which may be actually a losing the game play. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Letting him sell Kirk is it's not good for me. Right? I, th I guess it can be fine. It can be fine. What do you want? Can be okay. Do we play Erland? Bloody non-humans. Guessing he's gonna pass now, right? We've already got an inherent advantage because we have Roach and he doesn't. So we have more effective carryover than he does. And my hand is super golden, like it's basically as good as it gets for round three. And if he pushes into us, we have already a bit of a lead, so he's gonna have to play Pavetta and Commandos to get back into this round, right? In which case he's then out of a finisher, so it's a bit of a weird spot for him, right? Probably he has to pass. It's kind of the only viable play. Passes I go Natalis. Just to get another commander in the deck. We have a really big carrier over advantage right now. We have a lot more commandos than he does. We basically have already two more commandos than the opponent. And we have first say, which is arguably good. So I wonder if there's a lane where we just put... We do Draug front. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Okay, we, we definitely want damage, yeah. Damage is good. So I'm happy with that. Okay, thinky thonk. Mirror matches are just wild with this deck. Kind of just wild. Out here wilding. No! I don't believe that's what they say, Kentucky. Don't believe they're saying that. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. 
I'm hoping our like clutch factor here is the Savemen. I'm hoping he doesn't have that. I'm gonna bash him with a couple of Savemen in this long round three. I only have one left because I already used one. Oops. It's fine. Do we have a round one Erland in this deck? I think we can, yeah. I'm not sure what I've, why I've been using in round three every time. It's not that good in round three. <laughs> I guess it's okay. But yeah, it's probably optimal to... You know, round one him a decent portion of the time. Like first card, maybe. Kind of thing. Death to the enemy! Nice this is so here. pathetic compared to what we're gonna have, right? So pathetic. Suffering? Our suffering binds us. Quite a lot of points from that. I mean it's not that great, right? It's like a eight, nine point card for twelve. But what it does do for the deck is give you quite a lot of sideman value if you don't have Voimu. So I don't know if it's good. Why is he getting Drought first now though? Isn't that bad? It's bad that he gets it. Kind of. Thing is, you can't do your Drought too early, otherwise you won't have enough Revenants. Like, it's a, it's a weird balance to fit, right? Like, on some level you want to Drought early, but then your guys can die. Which might not be good for you. These dogs have no honor! Kill the Erland. That's interesting. The North, Tamaria. Nice mess you've got here. Death to the enemy! Honestly, wonder if that was even a good play. Maybe I should save that two damage. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. So now this is a really tough question, like, do we go for a front row Draug ever? Front row Draug? Is it always just better on back? I guess the answer is it's always better on back, right? I don't know. Part of me thinks front row might be nicer. More copy potential. Ah, I think it's. I think we just drive now. It's fine. Yeah. We can boy in there if we if we so choose, if we so desire. Probably just want to kill his revenants, right? If we can kill revenants, then it means he gets one less damage and such. One commander <laughs> resisted. Yeah. He had a bit of a spaz moment. Interesting. I don't know why that bug is still in the game. It's been around for ages. Spaz? Whenever I think spaz, I think spetsnaz. Am I the only one? This guy's early void mirroring. I mean, how are we not winning here? Surely, surely it's a big win. We don't. We just, we just sit tight, right? We can void mirror ourselves. We can play like uh, ballista, I guess. Play ballista with this. If he transforms now, we can kill Revenants, which is good for us. This is the awkward thing for him, right? He doesn't have enough units to really... He's, they lose their armor, so that's kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of bad for him. He's going to get a couple through, but we can kill enough to really just make this kind of terrible. Terrible Draug. Is considered. And you use the Selkirk on an Erland, which is just troll, right? That's actually just legitimately trolling the game. Okay, 
I think it's over now. We get our last revies. It's mega over. We retreat! We hide! Someone to defend! Boy Moon and then Side Moon and call it a day. It's just all about getting like more carry over than the opponent, right? If you can manage that, then you win the merit. Why not lead a ballista? Because I don't want to shoot with it yet. What would I shoot? I want to keep the option open to shoot a revenant, for example, if he copies or something. I don't know. I, don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Commands are sacred. It must be treated as. And ultimately, like the leader charge can be used to get more sideman value, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, this, this was a clapping. This was a right proper clapping. Onward! Attack! Well, thanks, poor rap. I'm not playing a I'm not playing the tournament. Unfortunately, I'm a bit busy tomorrow. Uh, a bit busy. I'm very fucking busy, mate. Very busy. We're all Pepega in the end. Yep, we are all Pepega. There's one thing all people have in common. It is Pepe. Pepega. What am I doing in this round? Trying to win with Roach? I suppose. I suppose it's good. Uh, this matchup might be tough, we'll see. Don't have to kill that right away. It's maybe better to kill it with Ballista into Roach, actually. List it into Roach and then, I don't know, Scouts, Erland. Masters Season 3 go. Uh, win a bunch of tournaments. That's my goal. Win every tournament. How's that for a goal? Is that a good one? Sounds like a good one to me. The North, Tamaria. Death to the enemy! I'm not gonna mess around here. Send I don't need to mess fly. around. Just get the boys out. Get the boys in blue on, on the battlefield. Throw them out the deck. This guy should be losing the round now. Though he might roast stack me out. Oh, My God. duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't Goodness belong. me, he might be actually really stacking me out this round. Elves must die! You don't have to pull the guys yet. Can wait. Oh yeah, Isaac, for sure. The problem is I can't guarantee that I will win any tournament. And also I'm a bit torn between tournament stuff and uh, YouTube. Okay, this is a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? We just go long round. Do we ever win long rounds against this? Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. I guess we'll just do this round two then. I lose so much power. I think we're just losing this matchup, guys. Irritatingly. Nope. Uh, nope. 
It's annoying that I don't get my Voimir. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this one, guys. I don't have a good feeling about this one at all. You must stop have to do this, some funky please. shit here. Funky shit needed to win this game. Assimilate best no fit back here, yeah, probably. Proud, oh. Probably, it kind of do slap. slap pretty hard. I have to push really hard, but I don't know if it's it's doing anything. Is there any point to pushing? And what am I going to be left with for round three? These are the these are the tough questions, man. I'm going to be left with a Voimir that doesn't actually work. These are the really tough questions. We've got to ask ourselves. Uh, I don't like it. We could try double revenant row with reinforcements. This world needs witchers, not marauders. We can also just save all our shit for round three and just do it in round three. Okay, I mean. Dogs have no honor. This isn't Doom, they haven't played it yet, so... I feel like we should play it this round to get a bit more value. So let's just go Natalis. Has yet to speak its last. Let's try to make things a little bit spicy here. Let's go with like an assault and pass, I think. How does that sound? And we do the long round after all, after a bit of a bleed. I have no idea how that's going to end up for, end up for us. But... Grab a big lad. Big lad. Might be better just to take the royal guard actually. Fall overboard, and I'm not jumping in after you. It's a bit of a weird game, but I think we just gotta shorten the round three and then do the drag round three shortened a bit. And this, this bleed can be quite annoying for him. But one thing. Um, okay, we'll do this. Uh -oh. Just bleed, bleed, bleed. I'd probably take a pass there, actually. Isn't that a pretty good pass? The real issue is going to be he has a whole leader over me. Ah, oh, bull. All right, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Get the absolute fuck out of this round. Not dealing with that. I think this is a pretty successful bleed, right? We managed to just shorten the round length. Round six card round is not as scary as like a an eight or nine card round. And we've got Erland carryover, we've played Pavetta, which is a weaker card, provided we don't actually draw all our commandos. That's the one thing that could go wrong here. We can get Voimir. We're drawing AA and Amira, so we're actually super fine, I think, Out of the in, way, in terms of draws. Bravo. This guy's also losing his portal, guys. Holy biggish. shit, this is so bad for him. He has to lead her now. Oh! Get clapped, baby. Bah, bah, bah. Stack your own creation. This uh, commando deck. Yup. He reinforcement. What did he? I didn't see what he did. Yes, he did, right? Pretty funny. So I think we got him now, right? He's got coup. Look at my hand. I mean, my hand is just popping. It's just absolutely popping. We can even Mulligan Mauler, I think. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just a, a masterfully played game, if I do say so myself. I mean, it all balances out, because I am a Pepega sometimes. And sometimes we pull off 
just a sweet bleed. Just bleed them right to the... Mm. You know what I mean? Just get them real good. Alright. Let's see why, why we don't just play this. Nice mess you've got here. Nice mess you've got here. Semper Fi! Big guys are out. We'll boost it up. We've got a potential Scytheman and potential Blue Stripe. We've got Ballista. We can do a lot of things. We can do a lot of things here. It's a Tawny Jazz, not too scary. Pretty sure we play a Blue Stripe. Because it's points. It gives me another. Yeah, it's just points, right? Humans. Holy shit, it's points. <laughs> it's a lot of points. <laughs> it's a 14 point play. We can get another scout as well, yeah, with reinforcements. I'm just doing all our shenanigans in round three instead of round one. Exactly, so. And these informants are not that great. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Not that great. Regroup. So next it's uh, Draug, I think. And then we can take Scytheman or we can take damage, depends what's more valuable really. Oh, we could even transform Joachim so that he can't get a coup on it. Isn't that big brain? That's really big brain, right? So we do that for sure. That's super good for us. Just deny the coup completely. I'm glad you think so, Jakub. Jacob. Appreciate it. <laughs> Winch. <laughs> oh, what a clapping. We gave him a right old spanking with a good old commando deck. Feels good, man. Commando's pretty neat. 